There's a wonderful uh, pattern that is often quite useful. An initial response is to something happens, is to accept it. Oh, yeah. This is happening, it's just something that's arising. As Kalyani was saying, just, yeah. And many things will just disappear. Yet some things don't. For some reason, it actually strikes deeply, particularly if there's some sense of injustice or there's something unethical going on or something wrong. Then, second step is to transform. And just like, I can't accept this, so all activity will be to transform it, to make it different, to improve things, to change it. And then if there's not the courage or the resources to do that, the third natural, logical position is to leave. So it's accept, transform or leave. They're three same responses to a dilemma. Most people live in the fourth which is, I can't accept it, so I bitch and complain. I don't have the courage to transform it. I can't, don't want to leave, so I just sit and live a miserable life complaining about my lot. Mm. Yeah. Just accept it. This is what's happening. Oh, there you go. Stuff's happening again. Oh, hang on, there's something wrong here. And a spontaneous movement comes up to actually make this different. And so many social movements and great changes in the, our world have come through people acting out of some heartfelt response to a situation. <clears throat> or, can't accept it, do not have the resources or the capacity to transform this, then I would simply remove this being from the, the situation. End of the dilemma. <laughs> or go for option four and join the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of us are not happy unless we're unhappy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 